tested. Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. I'm here today testing headphones. We have a blue million headphones. I have PC headsets, Xbox headsets, PS3 headsets, and surprisingly some headsets that work on both Xbox and PC and PS3. So let me walk you through what we have. We'll have a big feature coming up later this week or early next, and uh, let's get started. So these guys are the Psycho 5.1 uh, headphones. Basically, what they do is they have all these speakers at the top, one for front left, front right, center, left right, rear left, whatever. Each of the five speakers you've had, there's little subwoofers in each of the earpieces. They vent, that's kind of nice. Um, basically, you put them on your head and, and you get the illusion of 5.1 sound all around you. Uh, there's some kind of weird problems with them. They're, they're neat, it's neat technology. I don't know if I'd recommend it yet, but you'll have to read the full review to find out. So these guys are the Siberia V2s from SteelSeries. SteelSeries makes a lot of kind of high-end pro gaming gear, you know, fancy mouse pads, all that kind of stuff. The thing I really like about these, just kind of at first glance, this little stretchy guy makes them real comfortable when you put on, and they hide the microphone in the headset when you're not using it. So you don't have to look like a tool if you need to use these headphones away from a computer. These guys come in both USB and straight analog trim, uh, and I think they're around like $120. These guys are the Razer Megalodon. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, basically, Razer, you know, they, they've made great mice for a long time. This is their USB headset. It has this fancy control pod with a volume knob and all sorts of other stuff. Uh, these do 7.1 sounds, supposedly, kind of like the Psychos. They use a more uh, acoustic, uh, sorry, a less acoustic, more kind of faking 7.1 trick by using Psycho acoustic stuff. We'll test it out, let you know how it goes. Uh, as it is right now, I can tell you, Pretty comfortable. I've actually worn these headphones for a long time. And the boom mic swivels down when you want to talk to people on the internets. So these guys are the Triton or Triton. There's two T's. I don't know if that's a soft T or hard T, whatever. It's another headset. This one's neat because it works with both Xbox and PC. Comes with a box, uh, which I have conveniently right here. And uh, what it does is it lets you convert Dolby Digital into something that the headphones can understand, which is kind of tricky with a lot of headphones. So these will work with PC and with Xbox as well, which is what I'm looking forward to. They're comfortable on the ear. It's a closed ear design, so you block out a lot of external sound. I'll tell you how they actually sound in the, in the real world test later on. So uh, these are the Astro A40s. They're probably the most expensive headset we have in the group. They're uh, reputed to sound better than a typical gaming headset. We'll see how that goes in the actual testing as it is. Oh, those are, that's comfy headphones. The thing I like most, you can pop off these earpieces and you can actually put the microphone on either side. So that's pretty cool just at a first look. So there you go, Astro A40s. Oh, and like all Astro headsets, you can connect them to this mix amp, which lets it work with both the Xbox and the PC, uh, you know, which is kind of a unique feature. So there you go. The headphones I'm wearing right now, Astro A30, so they're the smaller cousin to the A40. Uh, they have many of the same features, including like the modular connection cable, which is right up here. Uh, and of course, you can use them with the mix amp if you want to use them on both PC and Xbox. In fact, this is required if you want to use them on Xbox or PS3. So there you have it, Astro A30, a little bit cheaper than the A40s. Uh, not really a closed ear, more an over-the-ear design, but they still have the nifty uh, uh, cup things, which I don't think I can get off. Oh, there we go. So you can change these, get custom ones, whatever. These guys are the Turtle Beach Air Force X41s. As you can see, no wires. And they work on consoles. Uh, it, it looks like they have the appropriate inputs to work on PC. They don't advertise that. We'll see how that works. And uh, we'll let you know. I, I kind of like the boom out here. It's, it's crazy. I'm usually really skeptical of wireless headphones, so we'll see how these do. But I do like the little rack that you can kind of rest it on and just have a nice place to put your headphones. So those are the headsets you can expect us to have in our big headset roundup next week. Uh, I'm gonna go back to testing these things now. Might have a couple more sneak in under the wire. But for Tested, I'm Will Smith. Thanks for watching. Okay, who needs an Uber? Get on the point, you fucking noobs.